Welcome to the plus add-on tutorial. Today I gonna demonstrate average forms for Elementor using the plus add-on add-ons. First of all, you need to install average forms, which is available free on WordPress.org. You can find out with this text or using this link. Once you install this in your website. You will have options to create average form. We are assuming you already have created average form in your backend as per your needs. Once you create that in the backend, and you will use the average form widget from the plus add-ons in WordPress, you will have option like this. There are two forms created: form two and contact form. Now, from this option, you can select the form. Once you select the form, in the style tab, you will have all the options for the labels, for the text area, for the checkbox, and all the radio button and other fields. <coughs> so let's start with the label. In the label, you have option for the padding, margin, typography options, the label color, description color, and the required symbol color. So all these options are available for the label. Which are the general labels for input fields like message and the text area? You will have again options for the typography, placeholder color, padding, margin, and text color, background color, border options, and box header options were are available for the normal and for the focus conditions so all these options are available on normal and focus area after that you have the text area field styling in the text field area styling you have option for the inner padding margin typography placeholder color and text color background type box border color box border options and box header options for the normal and the for the focus state. Then you have options for the checkbox radio radio field. In the check checkbox, you have the text size option, which you can adjust from this. So let's make it smaller. Then you have the text color option. You have the icon size options. You can adjust the icon size. You have both the options for the uncheck and for the check color. So if your form or your checkbox is selected, the color will be different. And you also have the background color for both. And you have the box border options. If you turn it on, there will be a box border options available. After that, you have the option for the submit or send button in which you can adjust the width in pixels or in the percentage you can also adjust typography values in which you have option for the font size weight transform style and other option then you have a, you can adjust inner padding or the margin then again the common options like a text color background color box border box shadow all the options are available for the normal and for the hover state then this is the option for the outer field. You can see the outer field. That means this is the space in between two elements. Like for the example, it's a space between the first name and the last name. So you can adjust their margin, inner padding, their background, their border radius and the box shadow. After that, you have the option for the form container in which you can adjust the padding for example, let's make it 100. You can see the difference. So, these kind of options of inner padding for whole form container are available. Then you have option for the margin. Then you have the background color option, which you can adjust from here. You also can select the image if you want. You will have option for the border, border radius, box shadow, 
and all those options are for the normal and for the hover condition. After that, you will have option for the response message. In the response message, you will have two type of response messages, success and for the validation error. In the success and validation error, you have options like margin, inner padding, typography, text color, background color, border type and such as. Same options are available for the validation error. In the extra options, you have option for the width. You can adjust that from here. That width will be for the in the pixel and in the percentage. After that, you will have op option for the on scroll view animation. For on scroll view animation, we have made separate video. You can check it out in our channel. We also have the advanced options. In that, we have plus extras. Again, we have made a separate video for the plus extras. You can check it out in our channel. So these are the options for the Everest form. If you want to download ready-made Everest forms, you can check it out on our demo link. And from there, you can download the JSON file of all the stylings and the demo of the forms. So thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites. See you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.